there may be something going on that's far beyond the intentions here. Deadly interactions between police officers and black men are sparking protest and demands for change nationwide. But a recent study by a UT professor finds even police stops that don't end in a citation can hurt black families. Reporter Shannon Smith talks to the professor behind that research and shares some suggestions for positive change. George Floyd, Jacob Blake, Philando Castile, those are just a few black men who became household names after being shot or killed by police. Many more black men wonder who will be next. Am I going to be the next hashtag? The stress of being stopped by police can directly impact that person's relationships and family. That's according to research by UT sociology assistant professor Dedrick Williams. This ambiguity, whether or not their stop will lead to something similar or not. So the stressor isn't really about the individual police stop for the larger context of race policing. Williams looked at 967 black families from the Fragile Families and Child Wellbeing study. He and his research partner found black fathers who reported they were ever stopped by police were more likely to report conflict or lack of cooperation with their children's mother. It has implications for children's well-being, so it's a, a whole gamut of things that could be a byproduct of this. Williams notes black men are disproportionately stopped by police compared to white men. There wasn't even enough white men stopped by the cops to even analyze the data. This bias against black men goes back generations. Williams says analyzing that historical role in this problem can help shape a new approach to policing that's necessary to stop the stress of wondering who will be hurt next. But if we put the present moment in a historical context, it, it helps us to understand what the contemporary moment means. I'm Shannon Smith reporting.